Feel the big piece and you open the, the juice. Amen. I watched a lot of people struggle with that last week. And, and I was even told, like I said, on more than one occasion, hey, please explain how these things work. So there's the explanation. Do we all have a, a good grip on that? And I'll be sitting up here. If, if you want help, just give me a wave, okay? And, and, and I'll come help. We have a tray full at the end with the crackers and the juice. I, and, and let me say this again. The altar is always open for prayer. If you ever feel like you need to come to the altar, you come to the altar. Amen. Now, as we go into this, I want to say one more thing. I have extra liturgy, and everything I say is not coming from these slides, but everything you say will be on these slides. Okay? Trust me, you'll know when it's your turn, because I'll be standing up here very quietly. Amen? New stuff with this technology, right? Christ our Lord invites to His table all who love Him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved You with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done Your will. We have broken Your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners, and that proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to You, Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in Your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turned away and our love failed, Your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and spoke to us through Your prophets who looked for that day when justice shall roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream, when nations shall not lift up sword against nation, and neither shall they learn war any more. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. Your spirit anointed him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. By the baptism of His suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. At His ascension, you exalted Him to sit and reign with you at your right hand. On the night in which He gave Himself up for us, He took bread and gave thanks to you, saying, Father, we thank You for bringing forth wheat in the field so we can have bread on the table. 
he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup and he gave thanks to you saying, Father, we thank you for bringing forth grapes on the vine so we can have wine on the table. He gave it to his disciples and he said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by His blood. By Your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at His heavenly banquet. Through Your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in Your holy church, all honor and glory is Yours, Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. And now, with the boldness of the children of God, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, the table is set. I will remind you, social distancing and masks, it works. Uh, but please come as you feel led.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this gift, this mystery that we call communion. And God, we ask that you continue to give yourself to us in the days to come that we can face the hard times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now friends, I, I know those directions made it sound real easy, but this, they're still pretty sticky, aren't they? Uh, would you stand and receive this benediction? Jesus was born singing and he lived his life singing. He was crucified singing, but he was raised in silence. So go and sing his song so people can hear it with grace and compassion the same way you have heard. Amen.